Making it to Broadway is just like making it to the big leagues. So let's talk softball because a lot of top Broadway stars and stage workers hit the softball fields nearly each and every week in Central Park. Let's send it out to our new correspondent, Perry Sook. Hi, Perry. Thanks, Tamson. While great performances are heating up this season on the stage, things are already in full swing on the diamond. Let's head over to Central Park, where the cast of your favorite shows come to play in the Broadway Show League. Players on three. One, Players two, on three. three. Players. All right, batter up. Let's play ball. The Broadway Show League features 20 plus teams from more than a dozen Broadway shows. In each and every starting lineup, you'll find everyone from Broadway's biggest stars to stagehands and other behind the scene workers even the occasional former major leaguer. I am here with two members of the Come From Away Broadway Show League, uh, with Tony LaPage and Jeremy Woodard. Start by telling me a little about what you guys both do for Come From Away. Go for it. Yeah, well I am uh, currently a standby in the Broadway company, and I also played Kevin T in the Apple TV uh, film version. Phenomenal. Yeah. What about you, Jeremy? And I'm currently on the tour, and if you watch the Apple TV, the track that Tony plays is what I do on tour. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a crossover. We yeah, got a little reception right? going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come From Away, pretty pretty physical show. How does the uh, athleticism used on the softball field uh, compare to you know some of those big big group numbers, especially like the bar scene and everything? Yeah, well, there's no chairs on the field. It's true. No, so there's no chairs. Yeah. As long as there's no chairs, we have to get up and you know, go into third base or something like that. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, it's it's wild. I mean, I think being, it's funny, you know, everybody sort of, you know, being in a musical is just a it's just you know eight shows a week. You know we're we're all right. gotta stay in relatively good shape, but yep. we are both gonna be feeling this one tomorrow. Oh my god! <laughs> gonna yeah. be brutal. Everybody on the field was saying that they're just like, it's been a minute. Wait for tomorrow because it's been a second. Oh for sure. Yeah. Now now I uh, you know saw you on third base where there is no chair, uh, <laughs> but but you know standby. Uh, could could you swing in, into any of the other positions? Maybe a little shortstop pitcher. Or? I, yeah. I, I think I probably. That's, could. that's Tony's specialty. He's a <laughs> jack of all trades. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite it's quite upsetting. <laughs> So you never know who you're going to run into here at the uh, Broadway Show League Softball. Here with four-time World Series champion Jeff Nelson. Nelly, I got to ask, how? Wh why are you here? What brings you to the field? I got to meet John Gordon, who runs the Broadway Softball League, 13 years ago. I worked with MLB.com, and I, their entertainment department came to me and asked me if I would throw out their first pitch. And then got to know all these guys. I played it for a Neil Simon Theater, That's so I great. played with All the Way, Gigi, you know, there was a few others. You know, I'm a huge Broadway fan. Yeah. I love, I, you know, I know a lot of the stagehands. I got to know some of the actors. It's similar to what I did in baseball as far as working your butt off and trying to get to, you know, the Broadway stage. For and sure. the same way, get to Yankee Stadium. It's fun going to the shows and then you play on Thursday and you see the same actors right? that, that were there. How crazy is that? Lin-Manuel Miranda. When he he was in, in the uh, Broadway play in the Heights, so we played against them, and he was there. He was a huge Yankee fan. Uh, he grew up in the Who Bronx. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, meeting some of those guys, you know, I think actors or whatever, they're, they want to meet athletes. And uh, for me, I got to meet a lot of great actors. Brian Cranston was in all the way. So you've got to wow. meet a lot of the people that you see on film or see on the stage. But it's, uh, it's nice to see that they're out here having fun, and they're competing against each other, and then they go on the stage at night. I mean, it's pretty cool doing eight shows a week. You don't really get to see the other shows or get to meet yeah, those other people. Right. Would you say you met more people because of your time in the league? Even though our community is small, you, there's still a lot of people you don't see and miss. So mm -hmm. it's a good way to be like, oh man, that's such and such and we were okay. And yeah, but, yeah it's, it's been great, yeah. And it's, it's, it's always funny when you meet somebody on the softball field and then you go see their show and you realize, oh, you're a really good singer. With Broadway being shut down, it wasn't good to gather, obviously, for two years. So not being out here for two years has been so hard on all these players. But now we're back in the swing of it. Shows are up and running. People are starting to gather a little more, and we got everybody out here. We're just trying to keep everybody on the field. You know, as we're all coming back, obviously getting back on the stage for the first time, great, great feeling, great relief, even yeah. with a little bit of dissonance. Any, any similar feeling stepping back onto the, the field for the first time this year? Oh, yeah. I mean, for me, I mean, wanting to do a Broadway show was obviously always a dream, but for that very wanting to play in this league was the reason I wanted to do it so bad. Yeah. So this, this is just equally as important. Yeah. My dad pitched for Team Canada back, oh, really? back in the day. Yeah, he's, oh, wow. he's a big athlete. And, and uh, I told him, I said, Dad, I said, I'm, I'm playing in the Broadway Show League. I guess he was, he was pumped. I said, yeah. It was just like 10 years ago or whatever. I said, yeah, we beat Mary Poppins 4-2. <laughs> <laughs>